Hey, what's going on the friends? My name is M Changed Your Age, and welcome to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. This game came out today on January 11th, 2019. Obviously, it's gonna be a lot way after uh, this episode gets uploaded. Uh, but um Anyway, uh, this is a remake of the original New Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Wii U. Um, as you guys might know, I did a co-op Let's Play of this game with Vinny and Angelo uh, four, yeah, four years ago. Four or five, uh, yeah, four years ago, I did, I did a co-op Let's Play of this game with Vinny and Angelo. Um, and uh, this time around, they're not with me, um, and that's because Vinny kind of moved on in his life, and uh, Angelo kind of did as well, uh, as, except that Angelo uh, moved in a place that's uh, farther, where it's like a little bit inconvenient for us to meet up, so it's going to be like very hard uh, for us to get together to uh, record this game uh, if we were to um, like get get the guys back together, um, especially since Vinny kind of has, especially since Vinny has moved on in his life, so um, it'll just be me this time around. Um, so um, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Um, this is on the Nintendo Switch, so you are um, going to be seeing uh, different control schemes, although the, well, different control schemes, different controller, um, but uh, it's uh, still going to be the same, a uh, very similar game for the most part. Um, there are differences, however. Um, it's not a exact, it's not a, uh, like, an exact port. Like, it's not 100% ported. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start a new game here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, start a, uh, new file. Um, give me a moment. I, uh, <laughs> forgot to start, I forgot to, uh, get a timer out, so, um, anyway. Um, so, in this game, uh, in, in previous... New Super Mario Bros. games, you've always had the ability to play as Mario, uh, but uh, you couldn't actually choose who you get to pick. Who you get to pick? Mario was always your default character, but now this time around you have five playable characters. You can play as Mario, you can play as Luigi, Toad, uh, Nabbit. They've added Nabbit into this game. Uh, you can also play as Toadette as well. Uh, Toadette is, replaces Blue Toad, so Blue Toad is no longer available in this game. Uh, unless you play as Yellow Toad and get a power up, uh, but uh, for the most part, Toadette has replaced Blue Toad, and Toadette is a new character to this game um, because, uh, well, you'll see. Um, also, this game has also included New Super Luigi U over here. Um, also, I beat the game already. I know, I know, I'm gonna have people in the comments. Wow, this this game just came out today. And you already beat the game. No life. Um, but um, anyway. Uh, for this playthrough, you will not see me use Nabbit, because uh, Nabbit's a character who cannot die, um, which does not make the game fun at all. Uh, but uh, So we're going to play as Toadette for this playthrough. Uh, I could also play the other characters, but the, the other char but you know how the other characters at, uh, play at this point, so there's no really any reason for me to go over those characters at all. So anyway, let's go ahead and begin. <laughs> Everyone's having a nice little tea party at a, well, it's not a party, but it's a little gathering. And, uh, Bowser's, uh, minions are, uh, once again taking havoc. And they have their own airships this time around. I think that's actually really cool. I'm actually surprised that the, um, like the giant hand goes inside Peach's castle without destroying any single brick of, of the building. I think that's really impressive. And the fact that it punches the floor, it's a huge robotic fist from an airship, and it, bra it does not even leave a crater in the freaking floor. It's, that, that, is some, that is just some work right there. Alright, well... Unfortunately for us, we've been thrown we've been thrown out of the castle, so we gotta work our way to the castle, and they've pretty much thrown us out really far. Stop it. 
Alright, so... Um, normally in in uh, 2D Mario Let's Plays, I usually do, I usually, uh, like, show off all the way up to the first save points, but uh, this LP is going to go by a little bit quicker than usual. I'm not going to be taking my time, because considering I've already did a Let's Play of the original New Super Mario Bros. U for the Wii U, uh, so I will just assume that you guys know how to, uh, well, I will assume that you guys have seen my co-op let's play so um, although although that was of course uh, um, four, four years ago and things have changed since then so yeah <laughs> um, but uh, anyway uh, so this is Toadette uh, Toadette kind of plays just like Mario um, except um, as you can see right here whenever you turn around uh, Toadette like has literally no friction at all, so it makes turning around heck heck of a lot easier with Toadette. Um, so that's really cool in my opinion. Um, so it makes um, uh, like it makes falling down pits kind of hard to do as Toadette. Um, so yeah, Toda is basically your easy mode of the game, um, and I know that, uh, well, most of you who know me uh, will probably know that I am not a fan of easy mode at all um, in anything. Um, normal is basically the easiest difficulty I, I would usually play, uh, but um, uh, Toda has, has some very interesting features in, in uh, this game um, that I wouldn't really consider her to be easy mode uh, but uh, according to the game she is the easy mode but I don't really consider it to be easy mode so that was the first soul right there uh, we got through it pretty quickly um, I should be I should be exploring this stuff but um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Um, for those who, uh, don't want- who don't catch on to my streams, um, I, uh, I actually do- I've recently started- well, not really recently, but uh, a few years ago, I did- I- I got- I got myself into, uh, speedruns of, uh, the new Super Mario Bros. games. Um, so, my muscle memory off of playing this game is, um, Basically, is just go fast, pretty much. But I, I'll try not to go too fast for you guys. Um, I'll still make this uh, kind of exciting and uh, show and show off how to get through this game, um, just so that the people who are watching this can watch this for entertainment purposes. Um, so this is 1-2, it's your underground level. Um, it is also worth noting that Toadette also has other features in this game. Uh, but, um, yeah, Toda has other features in this game as well, uh, but uh, we will go over those later, because as of right now, they're not really relevant as of, as of right now, so yeah. Uh, but uh, this is 1-2, it's your standard underground level. Um, there's a lot of uh, different stuff that they try to throw at you to get yourself used to the game. Um, and there's not really anything different that they've done to the game's level levels at all. Uh, most of this is just relatively the same. Uh, well, every every single level is pretty much the same as in um, uh, New Super Mario, as in uh, the original Wii U version of this game. Um, you are going. Also, you're hearing a lot of my controller here, and that's because I have uh, elected to use. Um, a pro controller for this playthrough. Um, I have tried using the uh, Joy-Cons while playing on handheld mode using the gamepad on the Switch, um, and it I, it doesn't I don't like it. So I just prefer to to stick with this with this method. Uh, the pro controller just feels a lot more comfortable. Um, so that is just what I choose to play. So that right there was our first secret exit. Um, we will be going for a 100% playthrough of this game, and for New Super Luigi U, because we will be showing off New Super Luigi U as well. Um, Toadette can also be played in New Super Luigi U, 
Uh, so we can show off the toe deck gameplay for that. And um, this time Peach's castle is Bowser Flags. I think that's a. I think that's not good. We better get to her quickly. I'm trying to go fast, man. It's hard. Uh, so one uh, add-on that they've that they've included into into this game is that if you press the jump button in mid-air, then you do spins. Normally, like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where you can um, shake your controller to do a spin jump, but if you do that in mid-air, then you can do some, then you can do mid-air mid spins. But uh, this time around, um, when you, it's, um, it's, when you press the jump button twice, uh, well, multiple times, when you press the jump button mid-air, then that's how you do your spins. And, uh, it's kind of a, a, that's kind of a mechanic that's really, that, that can really throw you off if you're used to playing the original, uh, version of, of this game. Um, it makes, uh, some, sometimes it makes, uh, it can throw, it can throw you off if you're trying to, like, jump on an enemy at a very, with, per, very, with very particular timing. Um, but, um, I guess once you play the, once you get used to it enough times, then, uh, uh, it shouldn't be terribly difficult, it shouldn't be terribly, it shouldn't be terrible to, to uh, get used to at all. Also, sometimes, uh, whenever you hit one-up blocks, this is not, this does not apply for every single, uh, one-up block, but, uh, some, but you get, uh, Lunar Moons. Lunar Moons make a return back from Super Mario World. And Lunar Moons basically just um, give you three one-ups, just like in Super Mario World. Um, and so uh, we're gonna get 99 lives very quickly uh, from the from the rate I'm seeing here. All right, so now we're gonna so by finding the secret exit in One Two, we are now introduced to um, uh, our first secret level, and our first secret level is our first water level. Um, and um, and uh, here's another uh, new thing that they've uh, added for Toadette is that uh, Toadette actually swims at the rate at uh, really fast in this game. Um, if you remember in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, uh, that uh, where you have the penguin the penguin suit, um, Toadette. As you, you guys can see right here, Toadette swims at, uh, at the same speed as a penguin suit. Uh, so, a lot of the swimming levels in this game are very easy, uh, as, long as, using, as long as you're using Toadette. Um, you know, cool game, you know? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, if you pay attention to the timer, uh, which I don't know how I don't know how many people would even look at the timer, but um, most levels usually have usually have a 100 uh, 400 second time limit. Uh, in most cases, sometimes it can be 500, or even sometimes it can be 300. And but for Toadette, they gave Toadette a uh, 100 more seconds to beat every level. Uh, which means you do not have a 400 second time limit on standard levels anymore. You have a 500 second time limit. Uh, and that's the same thing, and that's just gonna be the same case with, uh, NSLU as well, which is, again, very interesting, very interesting mechanic right there. Um, and, uh, like I said, Toadette's supposed to be the easy mode, but I think Toadette just has her own challenges, in my opinion. At, le at least from the way I see it so far. Alright, so you can save, but, um, I'm not going to save, because I'm still recording. Um, you know, normally what I like to do, uh, whenever I'm playing this game on my own time, if I wasn't recording, I would go straight to World 5, uh, which is where the secret level takes you to. Uh, but, um, I, for, uh, simplicity's sake of the Let's, uh, of the let's Play, uh, we will not be doing that. Um, so... Yeah. Um, 
the new power-up uh, that was introduced into the original New Super Mario Bros. U is the Super Acorn, which is what I which is what I currently have right now. Uh, the Super Acorn allows you to um, uh, gl to glide around and fly like uh, like this. Um, Another thing that they that uh, that it allows you to do is that when you spin jump, you spin jump really high. You spin jump at the uh, same height as uh, as um, your as the height of your triple jump. So you look, you're gonna be seeing me spin jump a lot like this. And we pretty much made it to our to the uh, boss of this level. This is the uh, um, th these are fortresses, basically the mid part of this world. And for uh, fortresses here, we're gonna be fighting Boom Boom. Boom Boom is make, uh, makes a return from Super Mario Bros. 3. All you gotta do is just jump on him three times. That's it. <laughs> Nothing too spectacular about Boom Boom. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> All right, so that is Boom Boom taken care of. And then now we have more levels, as you can see. Alright, so, um, normally, uh, if you remember, like, back when the Wii U came out, the Wii U came out with something called Miiverse, um, which is where you can talk about your experiences of your games in, um, in, a, in, yeah, where you can basically talk about your experiences of video games in, um, uh, uh, well, any Wii U game, basically. Um, and, um... Uh, that was cool. And because Miiverse died, um, you unfortunately do not get to see, um... The, uh... The game does not ask you if you want to post your experience on some Miiverse, because the Switch does not have Miiverse, and Miiverse is dead, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, there's always, there's a meme going on in the Wii U community, in the Wii U games community, uh, Rip Miiverse, and that is true. Miiverse is awesome. It's just that, uh, it's, un it's unfortunate that, it, that they took that away. Um, okay, so this is a new power-up that is exclusive only to Toadette. Uh, so what I just got was a Super Crown. Uh, the Super Crown, um, allows Toadette to turn into, uh, what is, uh, very famous, famously known on the internet, Peachet. And, um, if you go on the internet, if you look up on the internet, there's always these little, like, fan fiction comic books online, uh, that you can read up of, like, Peachettes, and then there's also, I guess there's also a, a, another character known as Bowsett. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really know much about, ab about that, but, uh, about, yeah, I don't really know much about that, but... Yeah, so you can turn into Peachette in this game, and Peachette is basically Peach in uh, traditional in traditional Mario. Uh, well, in like games like 3D World or Super Mario Brothers 2, Peach can glide like this, um, and she also can double jump, uh, which is cool. Unfortunately, though, whenever you glide. With Peachette, um, she is pretty slow. Um, but it looks cool though. It is cool that that Toadette gets to turn into basically Princess Peach. Um, yeah, because you know you don't ever get to see a Toad turn into the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. Does that mean that Toadette is, you know, Peach's imposter of some sort? Well, Peachette is pretty small, if you ask me. But uh, uh, I don't know. I, I'm saying some not. I am saying some absolute nonsense right now. Um. But yeah, you can turn to Peachette, and Peachette pr is pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, though, I like the Super Acorn more, 
Uh, cause Toadette with the Super Acorn honestly just looks really cute to me. Toadette, like, as a character is a very cute character. I, I like, I, I like Toadette. Um, Toadette doesn't really get much love around Mario 3. Although, I guess Toadette's more popular than, uh, than, um, Toad. Because a lot of people seem to diss on Toad as a char as a character uh, for some reason. Uh, but uh, that's not me. I'm I I don't have a biased opinion. All right. Anyway, um, so I haven't really been talking much about the gameplay. I I think at least I like to think I'm not talking much about the gameplay because I'm already here in one dash five, uh, or at least Acorn Plains five. Um, I usually refer to the levels as, like, numbers, um, uh, by numbers, uh, so this is 1-5, even though, even though the level, even though the game officially calls it, what, uh, Acorn Plains 5, uh, and the, and the levels have, a uh, kind of, a level as well, um, uh, but, um, I am very used to calling these levels by their, by the numbers, um, because it's just easier to say to uh, refer to them by the numbers, uh, so you'll get used to hearing me say, uh, use those use those uh, numbers a lot. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, man, I'm missing out on the fun. All right, so you can also fight overworld enemies, such as this Piranha Plant right here. Uh, I don't have a way to kill these Piranha Plants, but conveniently, the game is nice enough to give you an Invisibility Star in this block right here. Uh, if you miss this block, then the block will come back, so you're not completely dead out of, uh, out of this. You have 50 seconds to kill these enemies, which is reasonable, but I'm playing as Toadette. I'm playing as Toadette, so I get 150 seconds instead, because I really need that much time to kill an enemy. Uh, but your reward is, ba is usually an item, which in this case, we, we, uh, I get myself a Power Star, uh, which will allow me to turn invincible, uh, which can be useful. Oh, okay. On casual playthroughs, okay, so on play on, on casual playthroughs, I never do these, but since this is a Let's Play, I kind of have to show these, but these are uh, Toad Houses, where you can um, have a chance to, uh, well, since this is a green Toad House, I get a chance to win 1-ups. So you can win one ups if you like. Um, I usually don't use I usually don't use these at all because I never really need that much lives. Oh, except I grabbed one. If you grab a Bowser, if you grab a Bowser, uh, then you lose a one up, which is bad. No. Okay, it's gonna come out with a lot. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I, I think I only got one. I think that's good. Only one Bowser is good, right? I got two? Oh, that's rigged. Alright, well, thanks, game. Alright, so there was another Toad House that I did skip over, which I will also show off because that is a Let's Play. Because this is a Let's Play, and I have to show what these things are for those who are just watching to know the game. Um, so we have these red mushroom houses. You, you, uh, these are basically mini games to give you a chance of, uh, to win an item. Um, there's a mushroom and a, and a star on the line here. And then there's a Bowser, which you obviously don't want to get the Bowser. If you get the Bowser, uh, then you lose. Then you basically lose your chance of getting the item. Okay, so I know where the Bowser is. You have to pay attention. That was really hard to pay attention because I was talking. Uh, but there we go. That's a, a very simple mini game. So we get a star and a mushroom. That's great. So yeah, those are the... So yeah, that's the only time you'll see me go into those mushroom houses and one-up houses. You will not see me go to any more of them for the time being. Because it's pointless. Also, here's Baby Yoshi. Uh, you'll see Baby Yoshi in other levels, so I, so I'm not too worried about about not, about not picking Baby Yoshi up. Um, you're supposed to use him for a 1-4. Uh, that mushroom level, but yeah, you don't need it. Uh, well, well, actually, you kind of do if you do not have uh, the uh, if you don't have uh, Peachette or the Super Acorn. Um, this 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 game's giving this game's giving me uh, uh, golden crowns. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, so now we're on our first castle level. Uh, we're already gonna beat the first world in this uh, episode, which is nice. So I guess we're doing a world for 
episode, I guess, since we're going since we're going through this game pretty fast. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I, we'll see how I'm feeling. Because I think I'm feeling it. Uh, you can grab on this and get a bunch of coins. Uh, just something that's kind of nice to show. Um, you can also fall out here into this pipe, and you can uh, get yourself your uh, third star coin. There we go. I couldn't even see myself for a moment there. Because I think they, uh... Oh! Oh yeah, um, for... Uh, this is noticeable in, in castles, but they made... They actually, like, changed the aesthetics of some of the levels. Uh, it has no, it has no real, real effect on the, um, level designs at all, but it, it just looks really cool that they changed the aesthetics of some of the levels, which is really nice in my opinion. So let's go ahead and, uh, blast our way, and we are gonna fight our first boss, our first major boss, and that is Lenny Koopa. Go ahead and jump. Let's go ahead. And he's gonna throw these uh, little bombs at you. You can easily avoid them. And then he's gonna jump on him again. Since I, since I, since I, uh, I played this game a lot in the Wii U days. I basically know this boss's attack pattern in the back of my mind. So that was really easy. I'm not gonna show you guys what their full attack attack cycles are because that would be boring. Okay, and uh, with that, go ahead and uh, destroy the airship. And goodbye, Lemmy Koopa. Woohoo! Woohoo! And she sounds like Peach, too. Can you imagine Peachette rescuing Peach? We might see that. Alright, and we do get a notification that the game that the game is notifying that we have beaten, uh, we have 100% completed the level. Uh, that's awesome. Or, completed the world, basically. So, uh, if you go ahead and look here on Star Coins, we have everything. And that's good on our part. We will, we will try and successfully 100% everything. We're gonna get all the Star Coins, we're gonna get all the secret exits, we're gonna be every level. So, I think we can do that. Can we do that? Let, let us let me know in the comments if we can do that. All right. Well, in any case, that is going to be it for this episode of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And next time, we are going to head on to our next world, which is uh, Layer Cake Desert. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.